Hey everyone, Britta Albert here. Today I want to come clean. My mom always raised us to say that we believe in the truth, no matter what the truth might be. And that's something that has stuck with me my entire life. I always used to ask, what do we call ourselves? Are we Christian? And she would say, tell people that you believe in the truth, whatever that might be. I'm not gonna stand here in front of you and say, I know fully what the truth is. We've been over this. There's no way I can. But what I can do is to practice what I preach. As I discussed with the last couple videos that I've shared, four or five videos now, sharing my coming of age, supernatural experiences, stories with you, I have struggled to call myself a Christian when I was younger, going through a lot of this. I struggled calling myself a Christian a lot within this last year. And I've decided to let go of the title because the way that I look at it is for those who now have heard my story, some would say, I could not be a Christian because my very existence is blasphemous. The things I do and the things that I experience, I'm either possessed by a demon or I'm a witch or the list goes on. Those things are hurtful, but then you have the other side. You have some people who are a little bit more open-minded and they, they hear what I believe and they say, well, clearly you are a Christian. And I just don't put myself in any kind of label or box anymore. I don't want to hinder what I find or experience to any certain idea. So here I am. The point of this channel is to help people overcome the obstacles that are standing in the way of them living their best and most authentic life. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means to overcome the fear of being fully transparent in what makes you you. It means overcoming our fears of rejection or shame or the judgments that we have about ourselves. For me, there was a lot of fear based upon past experiences. I don't tell you this to gain your sympathy. I tell you this to be vulnerable so you understand that I, even though I'm sitting here making these videos, it is also scary for me. I have experienced rejection. I have experienced condemnation and none more than from myself. But I want to be my most authentic self too because with authenticity comes freedom. And that freedom carries peace, carries courage, carries joy. The same thing that I want for all of you is what I have decided to also do for myself, to be fully authentic. So with that, I would like to rebrand. I'm going to add a word to who I am as a life coach. I am still a transformational life coach. My education has not changed. My experience has not changed. My skills have not changed. Only your awareness of them has. So with your added awareness, I now add a word. I am a spiritual transformational life coach, and I would be honored to give you a free session. I'm not sure when you're gonna be watching this video, so it's not gonna be open forever, but at least for the next couple weeks. So I invite you to click the link below and schedule a free hour long session with me. And we're gonna get really clear on what living your most authentic life looks like and how we can work together to clear the obstacles that are standing in your way. 
2020 is going to be the year of freedom. And I cannot wait to work with you. Thank you so much for being here for me, everyone. I am floored and honored and humbled by the acceptance and encouragement from all of you. It was not what I was expecting and I am beyond, beyond grateful. Y'all make this easy, y'all make this fun, and y'all make me want to keep going. So thank you again. Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.